What we're working with here is a multi-track mixdown of a recording session I did of the Courant from Bach's D minor violin partita. I recorded this in four chunks, each overlapping by two measures. I've already mixed down the session into a stereo file, normalized my levels to 85%, and I've run noise reduction processing over it to reduce the background noise. The first thing I need to do is create a new multi-track session. Next, let's head back over to the mix down where we're going to assemble our keepers. If you haven't already, just find all the keepers for each chunk that you recorded and label them clearly with markers. I like to rename my markers by chunk, including the timestamp. After I've got my keepers labeled, I'll highlight each of them, right click, and insert them into the multi-track session I just created, drag them to the beginning of the timeline, relabel them one last time, and I'm ready to start linking these together. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is find that spot where I want the first chunk to overlap with the second. Okay, so I think right there is my best bet. So I'll pull over the beginning of chunk two. Zoom in, line them up perfectly. Cut off the beginning of chunk two and the end of chunk one to where they're ever so slightly overlapping. Click on chunk two, and rather than dragging it upwards, because any maneuvering left and right will kill this adjustment I just made, I'll use Alt and the up arrow on my keyboard to move it up one track. Now this note from both takes is overlapping, but since I lined it up so perfectly, you shouldn't be able to hear it. Let's find out. Pretty seamless if you ask me. Now let's move on to chunks two and three and do the same thing. I'll determine where I want the edit, which I think will be right here. Find the same spot in chunk two. Drag it over. Zoom in. Line them up. Cut the ends off of them. Use Alt Up to bring it up. Listen. That's good. Let's finish this. Find my edit. This one may be a little bit tricky because the tempo is slightly different between the two takes, but I'm pretty sure that difference is going to lend itself musically here, at least I hope. Now, before moving on, you have to understand that this may not go as well for you on your first try as it did in this session. I've probably done a few thousand crossfades at this point, so I know what to look for and what to listen for, what works and what doesn't. One of the things I like about this musically is that it forces me to be a little bit more consistent in my playing from one take to another, which played to my advantage in editing this session. Now that I've got everything crossfaded, I'll export another multi-track mix down to a folder within the patch folder, which I'll label as patch mixdown. 